Karmic friends. Same shit, different day. Copycat energy. With the collective at this time, what's going on? The collective energy. So it's giving same shit, different day. So I feel like some of y'all could be going through the same shit, just a different day. It's giving same shit, different area code. Yeah, somebody's definitely hating on your happiness at this time. Somebody could be um, either in your energy or somebody that's around somebody that's around you. Ooh. Yeah, we got forcers. So somebody's trying to force their way back into your energy. They're forcing things on you or they're either trying to force their way in or they're using force to get what they want. You're pretty much fed up with this person, though. You're definitely not interested or you're uninterested in whatever this energy is. This could be a karmic friend or a karmic relationship. Or like I said, somebody that's around them. You can't fully really trust them. There's a lot of tension here. It could be some secret competition. It says keep your friends close and your enemies closer. You could be confused by this as well. Like it's going to catch you off guard. This person is a fucking groupie though. And you're fed up. You're just fed up with this energy. What's the tea for the collectives? What's the tea for the collectives? What's the tea? Yep. So you rejected it. You rejected this person. You're rejecting this energy. Or spirit is rejecting it for you. And at the bottom of the deck, we have a romantic affair. So somebody could have had you in like this third party situation. This third party energy is coming up. Somebody could have had you in some type of secret love affair. Or maybe y'all are just fuck buddies. Or this is like a friends with benefits type of situation. I feel like this person is definitely trying to force something on you at this time. What other energy is surrounding the collective at this time? What energy is surrounding this collective? Yep, so you're looking at things from a different perspective. I feel like you're moving on with the hangman energy here. You're look, definitely sacrificing things or letting go, walking away. I feel like you're moving in silence or it's giving very suspenseful energy. Yeah, nine of cups. Someone sees you as wish fulfillment, though. Your wishes are being granted. There's a lot of good fortune around you or a lot of abundance that's coming towards you. This is why you could be attracting these groupies or this groupie energy. We'll do a part two if this ends too fast. Yeah, eight of one. Somebody is definitely coming in with some like quick communication or somebody wants to speak to you or say something to you about your abundance or about this abundance that you just um acquire i feel like this is coming through social media it could be an email text message or a phone call but it's definitely fast moving it could also be positive news about your abundance like i said so you could be getting a call about um elevating this could be about a new job offer new love offer hold on y'all Karmic friends, same shit, okay. different Karmic day, Let's get back into copycat so energy like kids. There's some positive news coming in towards you. It could be about your abundance, the six of cups here, or it could be about someone wanting to come back from the past. This is about a second chance or somebody just wants to reconcile, honey, but you're not interested. It's given not interested. It's given um, somebody's very nostalgic, though. They're chasing you. This could be a friend, though. A child is involved or there's children that's involved. I feel like someone is very jealous of you now or their comparison. It's like comparing themselves to you or trying to like get in your energy. Clarify the hangman. Why is the hangman here for the collective? Why is the hangman here? They're looking at this connection from a different perspective or a different angle. They're looking at different ways to bring this offer to you. But I feel like you already know this with the high priestess being here. You already know this is your soulmate. You already know there's reconciliation coming in. This person definitely wants to reconcile. But I feel like you're really not interested at this time because there's still some truths that are hidden from you. You're an empath. But this person feels like you're the secretive one. Clarify the eight of wands. We have the three of swords. Yeah, they're coming in to talk about this heartbreak or this betrayal because you walked away. So now they're, I feel like you pulled your energy away and now they want to talk to you about it. Yeah, with the temperance. They're asking you to be patient with them at this time or something needs to be balanced out. Someone here is also an alchemist. So whatever you touch turns, turns to go. But I feel like you're doing things in moderation. This could be healing. But somebody wants to talk to you about this heartbreak or this stab in the back or this third party situation. I told you somebody had you in a third party situation and it just showed up. You had to walk away by the cups. There was some betrayal. There's a breakup here. Clarify the six of cups. They definitely want to reconcile. Six of cups. 
six of cups being clarified by the high priestess but you know all this you're the high priestess you're all knowing so can't shit be hidden from you because you already know the five of pentacles whoever this was that left you out in the cold now the roles have reversed i feel like shit has changed and now you're leaving they ass out in the cold okay Races. You are a healer. I feel like they didn't realize that your energy was helping them heal. 222 two, two on the timestamp. And if it cut off, we'll come back. Okay? Because it's getting juicy. It's getting juicy. What's brewing with this connection or with this energy to the collective? What's brewing? Yeah, they're coming in after you. They definitely want to say something to you or they have something that they want to talk about with you. It's giving bugaboo. It's giving very much bugaboo energy. They're definitely all over the place um, because all this shit just came out. You could be telling this person, chill the fuck out, okay? Karmic friends, same-ish, different day, copycat energy kind. Somebody could be blowing your fucking phone up. It's, it's giving a lot. But I feel like you're staying centered at this time. You're staying grounded. You're aligning yourself with the universe. Um, you could be co-parenting with this person. If this is someone that you have a child with, or maybe you're going to have a child with this person, focusing on your children at this time or your co-parenting. And somebody's a fucking copycat. I feel like this is this energy of this karmic friend, secret competition. It's giving somebody's copying out for you. Somebody's a fucking copycat. But you don't care. <laughs> You don't care, collective. I just heard. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I feel like this person went after somebody that they thought like like favored you or were similar to you, and it gave. It was just a copy. It was just a fucking. You feel me? It wasn't a real deal. Okay. You can go get a clone all you want. That <laughs> motherfucker ain't me. Oh, y'all cut up. This is just for the collective, honey. Messages for the collective. Let's get some final messages for the collective. We have lightning. So there's a sudden change or something, some type of shocking news that came in. There was a surprise or something about someone's transformation. They could be coming in to tell you that they like you or that they love you. Someone likes you. The romance is blooming in this connection. Yeah, or they love you. Like I said, they're calling you to let you know. They, they definitely want to reach out and have a conversation about this. So they could be... Offering some type of higher level of commitment, engagement, or a partnership, or some type of commitment here. There's something that they've completed or, or they've understood. They want to bring this union. They're thinking of you and they're letting you know. You're on their mind, but I feel like time is ticking. Time is ticking. Send the motherfucking phones. <laughs> and then we can discuss a possible arrangement between you and I, period. Okay? But, um, yeah, somebody needs time or something here is taking time or um, something is happening in cycles or somebody needs some time to heal and, you feel me, progress through this connection. Okay? Okay, let's get some Rebel Deck so we can get out of here because it's about to end again. It says, you are loved. Final message for the collective. Final message. For the collective fucking apologize seriously just do it so this could be you needing to apologize or this is your person wanting to apologize and at the bottom of the deck it says whatever you are thinking about don't do it so if you're thinking about apologize apologizing don't fucking do it now is not the fucking time now this person needs to fucking apologize okay not you my nose itching but that's what I have for you guys I love you so much um subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to see more like in general okay Love you guys. Peace.